guys, it's Sophie and today I'm going to be doing some hacks and tips for exams. I know um, a lot of people are doing exams at the moment or they most likely have just finished which kind of sucks because that means that my tips and hacks aren't going to help you anymore are they? No. Well I'm currently doing exams at the moment, um, by the time this video goes up I'll only have one left. But yeah, I thought maybe this video would be helpful to anyone who's doing like exams or finals, like what do you guys call them. Let's just get straight into the video. My first tip is to do some practice exams. Um, I've done this before and these actually really, really help because you get like a general idea on what your exam is going to be like and like how it's going to be set out. And like lots of the questions are very similar. Yeah. Second tip is to do 20 minutes of walking before your exam. I know this can be quite hard since um, if you have an exam straight off in the morning then you wake up, you get ready, you go to school and you do your exam. But if you have like an exam like in your middle, like in the middle of the day or the end of the day and just, I don't know, maybe you do catch the bus or like you drive to school or something, you could always like instead go for a walk. <laughs> I mean, I probably wouldn't do this, but it has been proven that it um, actually helps jog your memory and you remember stuff easier. Tip number three is to study in a group. I do this a lot when it comes to sacks. Not really with exams because I just don't have time, but I do do it with um, sacks. So if you have time between your exams, definitely study in a group. I feel like this helps so much. I feel like when I study with my friends, I remember stuff more because they're asking me questions and it's not just me sitting there asking myself questions because you can always just go to your book and look at it, whereas with your friends, they're asking you the questions, you've got to answer it. Haha, <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. So, what's a chloroplast? A chloroplast is, um... It's, it's in a plant cell and um, it's where photosynthesis occurs so um, the plant can get nutrients. But yes, you're going to ace the exam. Tip number four is to watch videos on YouTube about like a topic that you are struggling with. So for example me, which you'll just see now, um, I was struggling with enzymes in my biology um, subject. Like I had, I had like... When I was getting taught enzymes, it literally went in one ear and out the other. Or it probably didn't even go in my ear. Like, my ear's just like, no, I don't want enzymes. So, yeah, I had no idea about enzymes. So I just looked stuff up on the internet and watched some, like, videos about it. And that actually really helped me. Tip number five, or like hack five, whatever you want to call it, um, is to download um, apps on your phone to do with, like, flashcards and stuff. So you can do it on the go. So if you catch the bus to school or you're just driving or whatever, um, your mum's driving you, don't do this if you're driving because that's dangerous. Just put um, some flashcards on your phone and then when it looks like you're listening to music or something, you're actually studying for your exam. Hack six is to highlight and like make it your study notes much more visual. I find this makes it studying so much easier, so much more fun than just writing black and red or black and blue or black, blue and red or blue and red, whatever you want to do it. Just, ooh, I love highlighting stuff because then I know exactly what I need to study but I also love like visual stuff because that helps me a lot as well. Um, hack number seven, I know a lot of people don't do this and I do not understand why, like seriously, what is wrong with you? I know it's very time consuming but it is to make cheat sheets before your exam. So I did, I mean it could be like a cheat booklet because that's how much stuff you have to know and even if you're not allowed to take it into the exam it's still good to just make one in advance because then you know exactly what you need to study, you have it all laid out there. Number eight is to listen to different um, music. So when you're studying, don't go listening to your favourite bands, five star bands, all those mine too but you know, yeah, whatever um, your favourite bands and songs are or whatever, don't go listening to them because you're just going to get distracted. Your favourite song is going to come on and you're going to be like...
if you still want to listen to music, which is totally fine, get onto Spotify. Like, I just downloaded Spotify and I am upset. But you can listen to all kinds of music on Spotify. You can listen to just um, instrumental music that's like really good for studying. I did that when I was writing out my Bology notes. Or you could listen to like other music that you've never heard of, like indie style music or just like other pop or I don't know what genre you guys like, but you know. Just listen to different artists so you're not like singing the words. <laughs> okay, number nine. Um, this is kind of like a hack too. I'm not really sure. It's to chew a different flavoured gum that you like never have before while you're studying like a t particular subject and then while you're doing an exam. I know at my school and probably lots of schools in Australia you're not allowed to have gum at school but I know like heaps of schools in America and stuff you are allowed to have gum. So definitely do that. Number 10, um, my legal studies teacher actually taught me about this. He said to um, record yourself, like record yourself saying your notes, like information and stuff that you're learning and then replay it over and over again. Which um, I tried but I did it like the night before so that didn't really help me. But definitely do it if you have like a few days in advance because then when you're going to bed you can just, it's like the first thing you listen to. Then when you wake up, it's the first thing you listen to. Eventually, it's just going to be stuck in your head and that's all you're going to be saying. You know it's going to be hard if you have like pages and pages of notes. Like you're not going to put like everything on there. But if, if there's like a particular topic, like for me, enzymes or like something else that you're having trouble with, you could record that and then just listen to it over and over again. And then it'll eventually get stuck in your head and then... You'll know exactly how to say it. Prokaryotic cells are cells that have no membrane bound organelles and consist of bacteria. And then you just listen to that over and over and over again. Prokaryotic cells are cells that have no membrane bound organelles and consist of bacteria. And my last one, number 11, is to write everything you know, like as soon as you get into the exam room. I know for me, like, and for my school, we have 10 minutes or 15 minutes of reading time before we can actually even use our pen. But as soon as you um, are allowed to write, just write everything that you think you'll forget or just like formulas for maths or like just little pieces of information that you think will help you. Because when you're going through the exam, it's gonna be like questions where you know stuff but you've just forgotten because you've done so much work already that you've forgotten everything that you've learned which would suck really bad but that's why you write at the start and I have actually done this before and it helps me so much so that's all my hacks and tips for you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope this was helpful to you um yeah I use most of these and it definitely gets me through exams <laughs> So if you have exams coming up, then I'm sending heaps of luck to you guys because I know you'll all do so amazingly well. Don't worry. God will be with you and he'll make sure you get through it. He loves you. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye.